Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video this morning on how to render an object. So I'm going to give you um, this file, which is a boat that I drew a long time ago, and I'm going to give you um, the task of trying to create a cool rendering of this boat. So um, there's in, in the layers palette, the first thing you'll see is that there's little arrows next to the three layers here. Um, so if you click the arrow, um, it expands the layer and shows you what's underneath the layer. So I've given you um, an exterior, I've given you some people in the boat, and I've given you an interior of the boat. Okay, so we'll start with the exterior. Um, at the moment, everything should be set to be a default material, which will, when you turn it on to rendered, will give you this view. Um, if your computer is not able to show everything or it's lagging as, it, as you move around, turn off some of the things. Um, try turn off the motors at the back um, to start with and you might find that it moves around a little bit quicker so what I'd like you to do is have a go at rendering this and see how cool a rendering you can create from this boat so um, it's all layered and color coded so you can see the different parts you can choose what materials you put on it um, to put a material on it if you find your layers palette and you click um, the little white circle, so you've got the visibility, locking a layer, and the color of the layer, and then this is the material. So um, this layer here, superstructure, that's um, most of the top of the boat, so I'm going to click that one. It should bring up a little um, toolbox, it might look a little bit different on a Windows. You click in here, you add a material, you import it from your material library, and in your material library you have a whole lot of different um, uh, materials so I'm going to find paint and I'm going to find a gloss paint and just for argument's sake I'm going to make it a gloss green hit apply then when I turn this to rendered have a nice glossy green paint and you can see the gloss um, because it's got that hard line on the roof that's reflecting the environment around it. Um, so you're going to go through and add all your materials to make your boat look cool um, and then you click up here render and then click render again. Rhino will go through and do a high quality render it might take a while um, depending on how in-depth your materials get I'll just wait for a few seconds while it finishes this. Alright, so you get the idea, you'll get a nice rendering here, and then you'll be able to save this picture um, by... I'm not quite sure how you save it until it finishes. I'm sure you can work it out. So what I'd like you to do is create a cool rendering, um, save it, and then send it to me of this boat. Um, what you may find is that you need to set an environment. So I went over this very briefly in one of the previous videos. Um, and so we will do, I'll just show you how to find the environment and set up an environment um, down in this layers panel. And this is nearly finished, so we'll see if we can save it. Um, how do you save this? What do these buttons do? Oh, <laughs> maybe I should click the one that looks like a little disc over here. So click that and then you'll be able to save it um, somewhere and then send me the save file. Okay, so the environment is this last icon over here. And so Rhino is reflecting the stuff in this paint of the environment, so the environment around this boat. Um, so in order for Rhino to reflect accurate things you have to put an accurate environment in. So at the moment it's set up to be a basic studio environment. So um, we'll delete that environment. Yes, I want to delete that environment. And I'm going to add import from environment library. And it gives me a whole lot of different environments. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better way to view these. Um, but you might just have to experiment a little bit. And see what you can find. Um, we kind of want a who knows 
flick through them, see what you can find, see what you can make it look good. This is a dark sky, um, so that would end up being a nighttime dark sky. Um, you can try various different ones. Um, so the image that it's using is, oh, can I see the image? Down here, so it's got like this black on the ground and a light sky. If you wanted to, oh, there you go, there's a sky that it's reflecting. If you wanted to create water for this to sit on, um, create a large circle, make a planar surface from that, right, and then you'll see that that um, sits the boat on a on a flat um, water surface, and then you can apply water to that surface, and you'll get a nice reflected water look on your thing. Um, so experiment, play, see how you it looks when you render it up and then send me a copy of what you have rendered. Cool, good luck.